Hello everybody, this is 8-Bit Flashback, and today I'm testing out the R4i B9S flash cart for the Nintendo 3DS. And what this does is it can either function as a Nintendo DS flash cart so you can play Nintendo DS games, or you can also use it to install custom firmware such as Luma 3DS. And with custom firmware installed, you have all kinds of different options such as playing backups of 3DS games, eShop games, homebrew applications, and much more. So let's check it out. So this is compatible with all 3DSs and all firmware. But if you're on 11.8, there is a little bit of extra work involved to make the custom firmware work. And I'll explain that here in just a few. Inside the box, you get an R4i flash card and a micro SD card reader. You also get a tiny magnet so you can put your 3DS to sleep. And this is one of the first steps when you're installing custom firmware. Here's a look at the flash card itself. And it's shaped like a Nintendo DS cartridge. And on the top is a spot to put your micro SD card. So this has two functions. You can use it as a Nintendo DS flash cart, or you can use it to install a custom firmware. And this flash cart does not support 3DS backups. In order to play 3DS games, you will have to install custom firmware. And for this video, I'm just gonna be testing. I'm not gonna be doing an install guide, but I will provide links for a full install guide down below. And here's a look at the website you're gonna to wanna to head to. There's gonna be a download for a manual that's gonna go from start to finish. And there's also gonna be a download for a B9S flasher. And what this program does is it converts your flash cart from DS mode to custom firmware mode and back if needed. And to start with, it should already be in custom firmware mode. And here's a quick look at the manual. It's got some nice detailed pictures from start to finish. And here's one of the first steps where to place that magnet to put your 3DS into sleep mode. And on some 3DSs, it's gonna vary a little bit where that spot's gonna be. On my 3DS, which is the original 3DS, that spot's located right by the A button right here. It's pretty easy to find. All you gotta do is move that magnet around and you'll find it eventually. So one thing I would like to mention that's important, when you install custom firmware on your console, it becomes at risk of being banned from eShop access or online features. So I highly recommend to stay offline after installing custom firmware if you're worried about losing these features. So there's really no going back after you install custom firmware. Once it's installed, it becomes at risk of being banned. So this guide works great for 3DSs on firmware through 11.6 but if you're on a newer firmware like 11.8, you will have to make changes to the Luma custom firmware. And here's a site that kind of explains how to update that Luma custom firmware so it works properly with 11.8 firmware on 3DSs. Now eventually they will update that guide so it is compatible with 11.8, but for now this is gonna be the way to do it. So I've already went through all these steps and I now have custom firmware installed on my 3DS. So let's take a look at some of the stuff you get. With this custom firmware, you get applications like the Homebrew Launcher so you can manage and launch Homebrew applications such as the FBI installer. And what that does is it installs 3DS games in a .CIA format inside the menu on your 3DS. The FBI installer only works with .CIA applications or games. So if it's in a .3DS format, it will have to be converted to a .CIA format. And there is a converter that's built into the custom firmware already. And all these games right here were in a .3DS format and they were converted to a .CIA format. You can also run tons of different retro emulators such as the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo and both of these are based off a RetroArch build. And as far as the emulators go on your 3DS, most of the 8-bit and 16-bit emulators seem to work okay. One really cool application that I like quite a bit is this custom theme manager right here. And with this theme manager, you have access to all kinds of different themes. You can even download themes by scanning QR codes and to do that, you hit that right shoulder button and then that'll bring up the QR code scanner. And then if you head over to this website right here and scan any of these QR codes, that'll download that theme to your 3DS. And I actually have a couple of different 3DSs, one with custom firmware and one without. And on this one, I don't really care if I get banned or not because that's what this console's for. So on this console, I do use online features. It's r4i b9s.com and they got quite a few things there. They got stuff for the Nintendo Switch, the 3DS, the DS, and even the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. All right, it's time for me to go. If you like that video, please hit that like button. If you want to hear more from me, please subscribe. And have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time.